Wendy Venerini. The 32 of Justin Marks is fourth on the racetrack right now, but he still smells something in that engine. He's not sure what it is. It could be oil, he said, so he is babying it on these last few laps. Also want to update Mikey Kyle in the 25. He came down pit road. His car was extremely tight. He also had damage from Chad Finley. Chad Finley uh, checked up on that restart, and Mikey got into the back of him, causing some damage to his grill. Mikey's team fixed that, and he is going to restart 16. Saw a little smoke out of Justin Mark's car as Wendy was talking about it. I think he's right. He's he's smelling that. Oh, yeah. you see a little bit of puff of smoke right there. He's he's Justin Marks right now is in the fourth spot as they come out of turn number four for what we expect to be the final restart. It's a green white checker. They will continue this until they get a green flag and checkered flag finish. Green flag in the air. Two laps of racing to go. Great restart by Steve Arp and Grant Enfinger. Not quite as quick. Craig Ghost moves to the inside. Ghost trying to take second away from Grant Enfinger. He'll do it through one and two. Craig Ghost trying to reel in that 55 of Steve Arpin. The field making their way through one and two down the back stretch. This time by, they'll get the white flag. You still see a little smoke coming out of the 32 of Justin Marks. He's trying to hold on to a top five finish. White flag in the air for Steve Arpin. 1.5 miles to go. I think the best two cars right now are running first and second. Let's see if Craig Ghost has anything for Steve Arpin. This is the way they finished at Salem one race ago. Now, Craig Ghost trying to get by that 55 of Steve Arpin as they go down the back stretch. Less than a car link separates one and two. Arpin trying to get his second win in a row in the ARCA Racing Series as he comes out of four. Craig Ghost goes high. Will he have enough time? No. Arpin will win again. How about momentum on his side? There's a great side-by-side -side battle for position. Mikey Kyle gets the 10th spot over Chad Finley. Celebration continuing. It's Tony Liberati. We call him Rambo. Crew chief for Steve Arpin. He made a prediction before the race. He said, I know we're starting back in 22nd, but I think we've got a good enough car. I think we can be in the top 10 inside of two laps. Sure enough, at lap number two, he was running 10. Yeah, and at 105 laps, he was running first. They hammered on it. They got the fenders right. You got Rambo over here doing all that work on the front end, and uh, you guys are smiling. But of course, of course the uh, green white checker must have had to been worried with uh, Craig Ghost right there on your tailpipes at the finish. He was really good, uh, but Steve Arpin is the man, and he is in a groove, and he has hit his rhythm, and I love it. Rambo's doing an awesome job doing being handling this whole deal. This is a new upstart team we started this year, two for two, leading the points. I love it. I love it. I'm so proud of these guys. Rambo, you were under that front end. Well, how bad was it? Did you tell him anything, or was it was it bent up and you let him race anyway? I lied to him a little bit. But um, we uh, we got that we got that nose fixed and, and and it actually ended up being a little bit better. We got the, the nose pushed out. I'm gonna tell you what, everybody at Venturini and I'm talking all the 25 guys, all the 15 guys. We work on everything. Everybody here, mom and pop, you know how they are. It's like working for my mom and dad. I love them to death. I love it here. And I'm gonna show them boys where Victory Lane is, like we did in '97 with Burton. <laughs> Second victory for Tony Liberati. They call him Rambo and man, he can fire people up, and he certainly loves what he's got going here with Steve Arpin. Mentioned Burton, he has been to Victory Lane here at Texas Motor Speedway before. What a great way to introduce a new sponsor to the ARCA Racing Series. Mike's Hard Eliminate comes on board Steve Arpin and goes straight to Victory Lane. Straight to the top of the charts now holds the sole position in our point standings. He makes his way to Victory Lane, so. We will hear from him momentarily. Celebration all around for Venturini Motorsports. A great run by Steve Arpin. Craig Ghost comes home in second. We'll hear from our winner when we come back to Texas Motor Speedway. And Steve Arpin's climbing out. This is a bath to remember. Two for two for Steve Arpin. Bringing on a new sponsor. Victory has never tasted sweeter for Steve Arpin. Steve, you said you had a fast race car before the race, but after that damage, how hard did you have to push it? I tell you what, these guys made good calls. We got into that. God, that stuff's good. 
We got into the back. I think Mike, he got a little bit loose. He took the air off the outside there. And uh, they just all piled up ahead of us. There's a little bit of damage, but this thing just drove like a dream. I don't think there's any stopping it. It was uh, this Mike's Hard Lemonade Chevy. Wow. These guys are awesome, every one of them. Heard your communication on that last long caution. How much was that a savior for that right front tire for you on these final laps? I tell you what, we need the, it's so aero sensitive out there. We could really roll the high side the first couple laps of the run, but we just got going so good around the bottom. And as soon as we took the air off the nose, we just couldn't get around them. So those, uh, those cautions were awesome. I loved them. That's so much fun rolling around there on the high side like that. You just hold it to the hold it to the pin and three, four wide, it don't matter. Let's do it. Steve, how about the last seven days of your young life? How about how about the emotions you have right now in the last seven days you've lived through? I tell you what, it's this is a dream. This is uh, what my dad and I and everyone involved in my program we've been working at since I was 10 years old. And it's just a, it's just an awesome opportunity. And Dale Jr. and all the guys are giving me the opportunity to to see if I can make it up in the nationwide series too. So it, it couldn't be a better group of guys to go and drive for Dale and Kelly. And everyone over there, Junior Motorsports, they're all real racers, and that's that's what's so awesome about every one of these guys here at Venturini's. They're they're so passionate about what they do. Each and every one of these guys, it's awesome. Making a statement for the championship here in Arca as well. Let's check in with Wendy. Well, they came in here as shared points leader. It was between Steve Arpin and Justin Marks, only 10 points behind as you leave Texas. A fourth place finish, but man, oh man, you were holding on to that engine. Oh yeah, it was. We got. Re I don't know if we had a bad set of tires or what. I mean. We just got real free in the middle of the race. Thing, it was awesome at the start. Construct Core uh, Toyota was really, really great. And this is going to be a hard-fought championship. And we come back from that, fight hard for a top-five finish, and 55 wins a race. We're going to be battling week in and week out. But love this racetrack and just uh, happy to be here with these guys. For everything Justin Marks overcame, a fourth place seems like a victory for him. Great run for Justin Marks. Want to take a look at our unofficial results from race number four. Steve Arpin again grabbing his second win in the ARCA Racing Series. Craig Ghost again finishing second, so ties his career best. Yeah, for a second, second week. Back. For a second week in a row. Great job by Grant Enfinger again. Every time this guy shows up, he finishes in the top five. He finished third on older tires than a lot of the guys he beat. Nur Ali in that number 10. Again, a Fort Worth, Texas driver. Looking for a better finish here, but he had a lot of people here cheering him on. Again, 38 cars started this race. There was some problems early on for a few, but the celebration will continue for Steve Arpin and his team. We go back down to Wendy Venturini. Our second place finisher, Craig Gosa, you, you said you seemed a little bit agitated. How would you describe those final laps? Well, you know, two weeks row, be, be in the, um, you know, finishing second. Uh, we, we had a winning car tonight, and. We had uh, two two things happen. We had a little bit of a little bit of unfortunate accident in the pit stop, and then on one of the restarts, I got up under under the 55, and the 09 just stopped in the in, in the middle of one and two, and the 55 got by on the outside, and I just didn't have enough laps to to, to get back around the 09 and then catch back up to that lead um, to get by the 55. I mean, we had a winning car. That, that's why I'm a little agitated, but. Um, you know, I'm definitely happy, you know, with a finish overall. It's a good point to stay for us. Greenville Toyota, I thank my mom, dad, girlfriend, everybody, Eddie Sharp Racing. All right, two second place finishes in a row for Craig. Take a look at our top five in points. Steve Arpin, 10 point lead over Justin Mark. A little over a decade since the first time they ran here at Texas Motor Speedway and a great performance once again by the ARCA Racing Series.